Hey there Tundra Nation, welcome back to the channel today on Tundra Tactical. We're going to be going into one of the most controversial topics ever spoken about on the interwebs. Mother of God. We are fully prepared for the comments section to become a cesspool filled with chimpanzees flinging turds until one of them throws up from overexcitement, causing the rest of them to start throwing up because they can't stand the sight of puke. After that, our sub count will drop faster than my retirement plan did in 2008. If you haven't guessed it, we're talking about what your carry gun says about you. All right, all right, pump the brakes there, kiddo. Before we get into the content, I wanted to address the fact that many of you get mad at us for asking you to subscribe to the channel. At this point, I don't even know what you guys want from me anymore. So listen here, young man. Don't you dare subscribe to this channel, or Papa Tyler is going to put your ass in time out. And if you even think, if you, if you even think about ringing that bell notification, <clears throat> so help me, Eugene Stoner, I'll let out to get him. The Glock 19 is owned by people who don't have an opinion of their own. Congrats on being an absolute sheep who's willing to believe all the hype from people who claim to be experts online. Do you even realize just how little credibility I have? And people continue to listen to the garbage that I spew with my forked tongue. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. You haven't had an original thought since Al Gore claimed to have invented the internet. And you're afraid of changing the background on your laptop eh, because you don't want to shake things up too much. Let me guess, your favorite type of girl is skinny, blonde, big hooters? Nailed it, right? Can you get any more vanilla? Too bad you'll never find that bombshell who's willing to put up with your crap while you continue to order chicken strips at the Olive Garden while driving a sensible sedan, wearing dockers to work, and believing that 9mm capacity is, <laughs> oh boy, uh, better than knockdown power. Whew, that is, that's gonna stir him up, Eric. You're also convinced that 5 inches is the optimal length because average is excellent. <laughs> and you can't understand why your cookie cutter wife keeps calling that plumber over while you're at work. I mean, whose house needs that much plumbing work done anyways? You probably put ketchup on your hot dogs because mustard's too spicy. I dare you, just for one time in your life, to read a choose your own adventure book without keeping your finger on the last page that you read in case you realize that you messed up and made the wrong choice. Dangerous, I know. Any Legion model of any Sig Sauer handgun, good god you people are tools. You went out and bought the fanciest, flashiest, pre-built thing that your unimaginative mind could come up with so you could flex on all the pores. But you failed to realize the fact that you can't just go around brandishing your concealed carry piece like a pervert on a playground every time you start talking guns with some unsuspecting citizen. You guys are the crossfitters of the CCW community because you can't go more than 27 seconds without announcing that you keep that legion on your hip or stuffed in your crotch everywhere you go. Your Instagram is full of pocket dumps where you slide in that tourniquet that's still in the wrapper and a barely used Spyderco knife that's never really used to cut anything other than the tags on your wife's Kate Spade purses. You think you're cool for owning a legion, but literally nobody likes you. And they like you even less with your choice of CCW guns. There is going to be a huge party next year for your birthday, I promise. It's just that you're not invited, dork. Shut the f up. Nobody even wants you here. Next comes the people who seem to think that they're immune to criticism because their guns were the hot thing last year. Certain Model CZ carriers have this sense of arrogance about them, but nobody really understands why. They aren't that expensive, so you're not really flexing on anybody. Congratulations on choosing a striker-fired semi-auto, like you're supposed to. Good job. You literally did the bare minimum, and you want a freaking medal for your efforts? Come on. I got news for you, Kimasabi. You're a grown-up now, and it's time to switch from Velcro to real laces and put away the tee and hit a pitch like a big boy. I bet that you brag about bowling a 180, but you failed to mention that the bumpers were up. 
I don't care that you had the bumpers up for your unathletic children. In today's space age technology, it allows for those bumpers to go up and down at the push of a button, and you know it. You are an irritating man-child with daddy issues because your hands were too small and widow to effectively play catch football. Any revolver ever. The 44 Magnum, the most powerful handgun in the world. You say in your shittiest Clint Eastwood impression, I have some alarming news for you. Semi-auto handguns exist and they are way, way better. You're gonna talk all day long about how much more reliable your filthy wheel gun is, but your tiny monkey brain is too simple to realize that there are more springs inside that scandium frame dumpster fire than in your 20 year old twin mattress. Any of which is likely to cause a catastrophic failure at any moment while any would-be assailants treat your face like a bowl of salsa with his beanbag after totally poning your punk ass. You are the most irritating type of CCW holster in the United States of planet Earth because you're convinced that the technology from the early 1900s is definitely what you want to trust your life with when the shit hits the fan. Come up with all the excuses that you want, but no matter what you say, you're still just a huge nerd with fud-like tendencies. And you probably falsely accuse people of stolen valor. You're a stupid suck my dick. Are you the kind of person that carries a full-size lever-action carbine chambered in 357 Magnum? Then you're also the type of person that chews Redman, drinks whiskey, and ropes cattle. Now you do all of this before getting into your monster truck and driving home for a breakfast made up of biscuits and gravy as a side to your full plate of bacon and black coffee. After that, you probably go fishing in your 18-foot bass boat. Or maybe you stop by the local cigar shop and regale the good people about the time you killed that grizzly bear with just your chest hair and testicles. I'm not saying that you're all that is man, but John Rambo certainly doesn't want to go over the top with you. Yeah, yeah, we get it. There are people out there who would say bad things about you, but you don't have to worry about those guys. I mean, come on, they wear beanies in the summertime and prefer a nice pair of boat shoes to a Harley Davidson. We all want to be your friend. Well, that about wraps it up for today's episode. If you guys dislike this video, then you probably carry a Taurus G2C and suck. I recommend that you check out Fit and Fire's video on the subject. Meaning, meaning the G2C, not sucking. Although that would probably be a pretty funny video. If you liked the video, make sure to smash that thumbs up button and share it around with your friends. Consider subscribing to the channel and checking out our Patreon page to stay up to date on current and future content. And if you feel like repping some Tundra swag, head on down into the link in the description below to our store on Teespring. Thanks for watching, Tundra Nation, and you can now find us on Instagram at TundraTacticalMN.